We are going to be converting between fractions and percents. My learning target is I can generate equivalent forms of fractions and percents using real-world problems, including problems that involve many. So number one says what fraction is equivalent to 38%? 38% is this um, equivalent to 38 out of 100. And then we are going to divide these by, let's do 2. You may have to simplify more. So that would be 19 fiftieths. All right, we're going to move on to number two. What percent is equivalent to 545ths? So we are going to do 5 over 40 fifths. We want to get this to 100, so we're going to multiply it by 2, which is 10 over 100, so that is equivalent to 10%. Number 3, Zachary asked 50 of his classmates what their favorite can fruit candy flavor was. These are the results. What percent represent the fraction of students who chose orange? So 20 out of 50 chose orange. We're going to get that to percent. So that is equivalent to 40%. Archie bought a new soccer ball for $25. He received a discount of 10% off the original price. What fraction is equivalent to 10%? So it's kind of giving us extra information, 10 over 100. And then we're going to divide that by 10. That is one-tenth. Number five, Ernesto has 10 bags of chocolate chips. He uses 2.5 bags to make chocolate chip cookies. What percent of the bags did he use? So he used 2.5 out of 10. We want to get this to 100. So we're going to multiply it by 10. So that would be 25 out of 100, which is equivalent to 25%. Dominic spent $78 on a gift for his friend. This was out of 100. He made mowing his neighbor's lawn. What percent is equivalent to $78 out of that 100? So it's 78 out of 100. I don't have to multiply or divide by anything. That is just 78%.